My name is Hannes Vogelmann. Um, I'm a product manager at Skoda Auto, responsible for growth and monetization. So that means we are mainly looking into um, data monetization, how we can utilize them for our customers, including third-party partners. And in this regard, we are also investigating on new technologies such as blockchain in order to see like how can we utilize them and how can we define like new business concepts for, for our brand. So how is the automotive industry utilizing the blockchain technology? For me, there are actually two ways of looking at it. Um, on the one side, we see like many activities around engaging customers, um, mainly taking place with platforms like in the metaverse or NFT collections. So actually um, creating awareness for NFTs and collectibles connected to a brand. And on the other hand, the automotive is looking to blockchain as a new technology with like several benefits coming to it. We as Skoda Auto are also like looking at, at both streams and uh, like we see a huge potential for that and are like really keen or excited about like exploring those new technologies. I think in most of the use cases where we are discussing today, we are speaking about a huge amount of data. Um, so of course it's a crucial factor about speaking about transaction fees and the cost to operate the systems. So there are some like fair agreements between the stakeholders as such are needed. And then also about like all the stakeholders who are on the blockchain. There you need to find like fair agreements to act on eye level. Because we are coming as automotive of a like, very centralized environment where we always try to like keep the knowledge um, with us. But like with the Web3, with the blockchain, we are actually opening um, to interact with other partners uh, on eye level. And the blockchain needs to allow those interactions like that. I think blockchain can bring a huge benefit if it comes to data transparency and data trust. We all are interested in what's happening with our data, who is working with the data, and um, the transparency which comes with the blockchain is a huge benefit for the customer and it empowers our customers. And I think in the future this will be a real like, competitive advantage for automotive brands. If you can give your customer a promise about how you're dealing with their data um, and how you're utilizing them. So I think data trust is the key topic. When we are thinking about uh, like business opportunities, um, right now we are mainly thinking about integration of third-party partners. Um, today we see like it's a huge challenge or also like workload connected of like cooperating with different partners. And this is also this starts from like business agreements over legal agreements and is always use case specific. And to like an open blockchain environment, we are actually looking forward to like find efficiencies in this cooperation. So what we are looking forward is to provide a platform where we can onboard third-party partners in order to make the custom experience better. So to give you an example, every one of us needs to have an insurance when he buys a car. So there are like synergies between the insurance partner and the car manufacturer like Skoda when it comes to all the enrollment processes. And I think exactly in this third-party connection, there are the biggest benefits. For me, it's super interesting to see that especially Central Europe is playing a huge role in that. Like you see in, in Poland, like a huge knowledge of IT capabilities. Um, also in Prague, you have a, like a huge and growing Web3 scene. From my perspective, um, together with Lisbon, uh, that's one of the most exciting scenes we see right now in Europe. And actually it makes me proud like, to, to work in such an environment. And I think the whole Web3 space and um, also everything connected to like NFT and blockchain lives a lot from the community. Uh, and like living and being part of such communities is, is a great thing.